connected. Let me check on my my end Sit. here. Sit. YouTube. Sit. YouTube is connected. And Facebook is connected. Sit. We are ready to rock and roll. Let's do this. He's like, I know there's food up there. He's so beautiful. He's like, I know there's food up there. <laughs> Are going crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Later, you can have one. Oh, oh don't start. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, he's, he's looking. He's, he's like, like, wait a minute. There's a whole bag of food over there. Never mind. I got to take care of it <laughs> I don't myself. Need your, I don't need your permission. <laughs> All right. Relax, you. Sit. Yes, so I have an apron that matches it. I saw, I love that apron on here. It's so cute. But yes, she made that one for me. She's good, man. She is, she is so good. I love seeing her bears like mm -hmm. the, and the. All right, we're up and running. Everything looks good. Awesome. <laughs> and Rascal's a part of this one tonight. That's yeah. right. He says there's food involved, He's so I'll sit right day. here. Oh my god, it's so irresistible. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a lady who does barcuterie, bark cootery, and it's um, all dog charcuterie stuff. That's so cool. It's very cool. <laughs> bark yeah. cootery. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Just what you need. <laughs> <laughs> He's <Awesome>. done. <laughs> Hold Are on, I'm just going live now on Facebook. Okay. okay. Do you look in the camera when you talk? I do. You do? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we want to make sure this is running right here. Okay. Well, I can check. I can see on YouTube. Yep. It says it's it's live on Facebook, so you're good. All right. We're waiting for people to, to join in. All right. All right. Cool, cool. Just noticing all the fun resin things around. Like, everywhere I look, there's something resin. Like that table, <laughs> that egg table, the yeah, triangle. Yeah, I poured all of the tables. It's beautiful. That's what we were at the end of 2019, right? All right. We were, that's what I ended the year with, was doing pours. I love it. And, Our um, Facebook family it. is joining us. All right. And Hi, first on top is Kathy Reinhardt. Hi, Kathy. It's happy, been a while. Happy birthday, Aiden. Oh, Jennifer Mitchin is here. Hi, Jennifer. Just Jennifer like she was said my, she would be. Jennifer was my guest artist the other day. Thank you so oh, cool. much for taking over for me. Cool. Yes. Well, I had a little break. <laughs> <laughs> much she did needed. a masterful a job. A much needed break. Mm, she yes. did a masterful job. Aww, Jennifer DeHorty you. says, what does Rascal get? Rascal will get a piece of cheese or a piece of pepperoni when we're all in our Rascal wants. <laughs> Liz yes. Lopez says, hi guys. Hey, hi. Yeah, he's been sniffing since she walked in the door. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> Rightfully be, so. He's really Rightfully interested so. in this one. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yes, so Kathy so. said that Jennifer did a great job. She did. She Aw, did. see? You were worried. <laughs> Jennifer says she can't wait to do it again. Uh, well, you'll have to get the pushing done, and we'll, we'll set that one up. <laughs> yeah, if we can get your husband to do it with you, I think it'll be really nice. <laughs> you did a great job without him, you Aww. know. And Grandma Pat just checking Hi, in, Pat. checking out the resin pour. Because I like the butterflies you showed. Aww. The butterfly one? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's so, beautiful. yeah, this will, be, this will be our next next workshop. We'll come wow. with uh, the butterflies or yeah. stars or unicorns. Very so, cool. This will be the next one. I, once we get through this one, I'll set this one up for everyone. The oh, butterflies man. is cool. Yeah. Emily yeah. would love to do that. That's awesome. Yeah, there are mirrors that I put inside first, and <laughs> we pour, so cool. and then we let it cure, and then pour again. Amazing. So it is a it's a couple step process, but it's it so looks majestic. Cool, though. It's just so cool. Jennifer so, says, yeah. "I love seeing that video of Rascal when you got home." <laughs> <laughs> yes, I videoed Rascal with me coming through the door, and he was just. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you again. <laughs> he was yelling yeah, at me and barking at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're his best friend. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, he will sit on the couch. Mark has to hand feed him because he won't even. He won't even eat. He won't eat. Oh I wow. I walk over to him and say, "Here." Yeah. 
He won't eat anything Where's from his bowl. Mom? I know. Where the couch. That's it. Only so dramatic. Oh, that one. what a world. <laughs> so dramatic. Oh, this dog. Yeah. My goodness. I love it. I love the innocence. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube too? Yeah, we're good on both. Yay! I want to thank everybody for joining us awesome. tonight. We're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> cool, cool. We're still waiting for some more YouTube people to come on. Our Facebook right. faithful are here. <laughs> they've been waiting for it's this our Facebook, day. Facebook. Oh, Facebook. Yeah. You know, yeah, they've been. They said Facebook faithful. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have detox for my drinking over the week. So I'm good. It's not that, I promise. Oh, blah, 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 blah. oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there. I needed two days to. Oh, that's it, huh? Two days. I needed two days. I need four. I need like a solid four. I need a day of sleep, a, de a day of hydration. Yeah, it was definitely hydration and just not drinking anything. Else. Yeah. No. Lots of electrolytes. <laughs> Pedialyte for the win. Yeah. That's, that's true. I should have done that. Yeah. Mm. Now you know for the next time. <laughs> all right. All right, then. You're doing our intro? No, the intro was done already, but I could do it again. Uh, well, if it's done already, it's okay. Well, I don't know if oh, people okay. are on. Uh, right, Jennifer, Jennifer's saying, um, hey, Mark, Facebook comments were not working right the other day when people were commenting. Maybe you know how to fix it. Yeah, because I saw all the comments on my end. <laughs> I was I was giving you comments and I you couldn't get them. Yeah, that's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it seemed like it went edit, well. I did the edit for everything and it's on YouTube now. So yeah, you're good. Right, awesome. Kathy says I will watch you either on Facebook or YouTube. Okay. Right, YouTube is doing fine okay. and Facebook is doing fine. So as long as we're Sounds recording, good. we're recording. We're doing great. We're our good. Facebook our, our Facebook people are here. <laughs> so let's not. Uh, Hold them back any longer. Yeah, let's get busy. Awesome. Debbie Kaladas, Shuper, says hi. Hi, Debbie. Thank you so much for my bag today. Yes, thank you. And oh. Aiden is that clock. Oh, oh that my. clock. Yeah. I know. That's this is a really from Debbie. cool clock. He's to the moon with that clock. He is serious. Right on, Debbie. That was a dope <laughs> clock. That, seriously, yeah, he really is dope. like, okay, Mom, we're researching how we can replace the glass and the clock, so we yeah. are going to do that for sure. So yes, thank Debbie, you. Get around the clock for so that. Well. <laughs> Oh, and good. not just a golf clap. <laughs> yeah. No, it was really cool. Yeah, yeah. I know. He was so, beautiful. so happy with that. Yeah, it was He awesome. said all the times, all the time zones and everything else. It does work, so. Oh, awesome. that's awesome. It's just yeah. Yes. Glass. So, so cool. cool. So for those of you that don't know us or are new, I'm Jennifer. Mark's behind the camera. I'm behind the computer. We're Mimosas and Masterpieces. We're in South Bound Brook, New Jersey. And today we have... My friend and special guest, Yay! Victoria Murray, Chef Victoria Murray of yes. Soul Child. Soul Child. Yes. I love it. <laughs> so she is part of um, our Mimosa Marketing Group. That's right. Um, but we, we kind of like just joined forces. Our first cheer session, which was supposed to be like, you know, 30 minutes to an hour, ended up being like three hours. Oh, yeah. That was a lovely And then day. we did like an extended one for like six or eight hours. <laughs> it was That's wonderful. Right, we did. <laughs> it was so great. Soul Sisters, man. Right? No exactly. one you see them. Instant. You so do. That's you so right. do. Yes. So um, I reached out to her for after the, after see, I don't even remember who, you did the first one for Pam. Mm -hmm. um, and I saw she made the charcuterie boards. Now, I like doing them, but I also am really limited on time lately, doing a billion <laughs> things. So I'm like, can you do that for me? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, she totally. makes these gorgeous boards that are pieces of art. And um, we took ours to a local winery with us, and we were like, Everybody would walk by our table and then like stop and like turn and look and be like, "Where did you get that?" <laughs> it was so That's cool. That's right. Because you eat so with your much. eyes. You do. So and true. I was like, "It's so pretty." It was, yeah. it was just amazing. Yeah. Um. So I thought we talked about pouring charcuterie boards. So why yep. not show you how to make an actual charcuterie board on your poured board? we're done yeah i love it and you know what it occurs to me though these boards are so beautiful you almost don't want to cover them up <laughs> and now now i know when people um when i give them my charcuterie boards they say oh my gosh it's so beautiful 
we almost don't want to eat it because right. it's so pretty. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it. So I like I want to like showcase the boards, and we're gonna have some yummy treats. It's with okay, them you also. can showcase the board as you eat off of it. And <laughs> That's true, girl. It's like undercovering a treasure. Right. Really yeah. Exactly. Is. Have they? They've seen all these amazing boards. You yeah, made. we've shown a bunch of them. That's so. true, girl. <laughs> it's it's like undercovering a treasure. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Have they? They've seen all these amazing boards. Yeah, we've shown a bunch of them. That's true. Girl, it's, it's like undercovering a treasure. Right. Yeah, they've seen all these amazing boards. Yeah, we've shown a bunch of them. That's true, girl. It's like undercovering a treasure. Right. Yeah, they've seen all these amazing boards. Yeah, we've shown a bunch of them. That's true, girl. It's like undercovering a treasure. Right. Yeah, they've seen all these amazing boards. Yeah, we've shown a bunch of them. That's true, girl. It's like undercovering a treasure. Right. Yeah, they've seen all these amazing boards. Yeah, we've shown a bunch of them. That's true, girl. It's like undercovering a treasure. Right. Yeah, they've seen all these amazing boards. Yeah, we've shown a bunch of them. That's true, girl. It's like undercovering a treasure. Right. Yeah, they've seen all these amazing boards. Yeah, we've shown a bunch of them. That's true, girl. It's like undercovering a treasure. Right. Yeah, they've seen all these amazing boards. Yeah, we've shown a bunch of them. That's true, girl. It's like undercovering a treasure. Right. Yeah, they've seen all these amazing boards. Yeah, we've shown a bunch of them. That's true, girl. It's like undercovering a treasure. Right. Yeah, they've seen all these amazing boards. Yeah, we've shown a bunch of them. That's true, girl. It's like undercovering a treasure. Right. Yeah, they've seen all these amazing boards. Yeah, we've shown a bunch of them. That's true, girl. It's like undercovering a treasure. Right. Yeah, they've seen all these amazing boards. Yeah, we've shown a bunch of them. That's true, girl. It's like undercovering a treasure. Right. Yeah, they've seen all these amazing boards. Yeah, we've shown a bunch of them. That's true, girl. It's like undercovering a treasure. Right. Yeah, they've seen all these amazing boards. Yeah, we've shown a bunch of them. That's true, girl. It's like undercovering a treasure. Right. Yeah, they've seen all these amazing boards. Yeah, we've shown a bunch of them. That's true, girl. It's like undercovering a treasure. Right. Yeah, they've seen all these amazing boards. Yeah, we've shown a bunch of them
most easily scoop a brie onto a cracker and then right. insert it into their mouth. That's it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I am all about true. quick access to the mouth. That's so, so true. So I'm going to slice these little um, diamonds. And I, I, I also like it to look pretty. So I'm going to try to arrange them in a way that's like a pleasing to the eye. See, I wasn't sure if you were able to eat the rind. I mean, I have. You can. Now, Which there's is certain... bitter, right? Um, is it bitter? Or, yeah. I it, it's bitter. It, uh, how does it taste? Well, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's totally fine. <laughs> and it's just not as good as eating, like, cheese to your face with the brie. Yeah, you want the cream. That's why you you're eating brie. You want the cream. <laughs> Side note. Um, and there'll be a lot of those because I have a touch of ADD, so get ready for that. Um, I like to choose a range of cheeses in different texture. So the brie is always really wonderful because it's so soft and creamy. Um, usually I like to have a hard cheese, like um, I have the goat's um, milk or goat's gouda here too. It's a bit, it's it's a semi-firm it's really good. Uh, cheese. Yes, really good and crumbly, like you could just, I feel like if someone wanted to share this with somebody, they can just break it in half, right? It's not too. Right. Um, I am arranging it here in the corner. I notice, I notice I have like a bit of a pattern when I make a charcuterie board that I like to arrange the cheeses like either, well, you'll see. <laughs> it's kind of, it's, it's, it's going to sound like totally bizarre, but sometimes there's a rhyme and a reason. And I also feel like this is my canvas and I can play around That's right. with different textures and things can move. And it, it has like a life force of its own. It's, it's really weird to say that about cheese, <laughs> <laughs> but I guess it is a living thing, right? Yeah. So cool. I like that little arrangement. So now I have my brie. I also have another one and I would love to crack into that. I'm gonna leave this brie whole. Like, oh, hey. rascal! This is torture, isn't it? <laughs> Rascal's like, hey, what you got? <laughs> and I'm gonna leave this one whole. Actually, you know, what? I'm gonna cut it in half. Rascal doesn't pay this much attention when you're painting, <laughs> right? He just sleeps at your feet. <laughs> He's all up in this one. That's right. He knows a good thing when he sees it. Yeah, okay, cool. So we have our brie. We have our goat's gouda. Where do I want to move from here? Oh, I have some beautiful cheddar cheese. I always like to add um, cheddar cheese. Oh, good. To the board just uh -oh. because I feel like yes. cheddar cheese is a fan favorite. Like, yes. I've never been anywhere where someone's been like, ew, why is there cheddar cheese on the board? Like, <laughs> if anything's like, people are like, oh, I'm so relieved there's no funky blue cheese, but there's cheddar cheese. Thank goodness, you know? Um, I also got into the habit of buying, like, the really delicious blocks of... Um, mild cheddar. Sharp cheddar is really good too. I am a sucker for eye catching aesthetic. So there's blueberry goat and that's purple. And I like the brightness of the orange. orange. Mm -hmm. I guess if you were putting it on the board, you that's probably going to look great on that board. Yeah. Just it's going to pop. Right. And I was <laughs> thinking like you're adding another dimension by having yeah. a colorful board because yes. I mean, again, since you're eating with your eyes though, so, um, I took the cheddar and I cut it into basically what is this, a long triangle? There's <laughs> like, probably a more, uh, uh, not scientific word, but mathematically appropriate word for this particular <laughs> shape. But anyways, I did this into a large wedge, and then I cut slices of it, and then I just angle them back to back. Um, so it makes like a little zipper this, pattern yeah, a little zipper pattern on there. So I'll just arrange that over here. So now I have like a little bit of flow to the board coming along quite nicely, I think. <laughs> I'm coming down to the board now. Ooh. Ooh, the board, the board. Okay, so now that I have some cheeses on the board, I'm gonna start looking at some of my meats. Now, again, I like to put things like with like. Um, I think that pepperoni and cheddar cheese would go fabulous together. So I'm gonna arrange them here. I'm gonna try to stand them up and give them a little bit of shape. And this might mean I have to wedge something up against it to hold it. Um, and I think I know exactly what I could do that for. So I'm going to arrange the pepperoni. So oh, <laughs> Rascal's like, what? You said some you of my favorite things. Pepperoni. He said, that's way better than, he said, that's way better than sign and date. Sign and date. Oh, I love it. All right. So this is what's cool. We're going to put jam in here. And... 
Um, I like to use the objects on my board to help shape. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You've got to calm down. Out. Um, and then I just kind of cram it together because okay. it'll stay, right? Okay. And then you can, there's many different ways that you could shape the, um, like, it, this could be soap or saw, this could be Genoa salami, today it's pepperoni. You could stand them up, you can roll them. And if you had a toothpick, you could um, skewer the pepperonis through, and then they would all stand up in like a rolled shape, which is really pretty. Um, so there's lots of things that you can do by using something to support it. You know, it'll keep its integrity and its shape. For now, we're just gonna go ahead and wedge these in here, and then it just like starts to come together. Kathy Reinhardt says, that word still makes me giggle. Which one? Uh, Charcuterie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's and a then, great uh, word. And then, uh, Lindsay Benjavanga. Oh, hey, Lindsay. Climbuck. Oh, says, Lindsay. love you, ladies. Love you, oh. I can listen to Victoria say charcuterie <laughs> all day. I know. I know. It's so funny. You guys are hilarious. Oh, my gosh. The memes. Oh, Go yeah. look up memes for charcuterie. It's oh, hilarious. I, I said, I'm going to have my stepdad, like, he does, like, the engraving. I was like, I would like for you to write, like, do you a shark? Yes. with a coochie? Like, shark okay, coochie. I would love to see the coochie on this. I would love to see that come together. That's hilarious. Oh, my gosh. That's so funny. Okay, so I have rolled a few. and uh, um, Sometimes when I go to the deli, I'll have them pre-slice this thin because mm, it's a it's lot more here. flexible to work with so just bear that in mind if you're um, looking for a particular roll um, but what I'm gonna do to help myself is I'm gonna wedge a strawberry right here maybe a little bit medium size and I also like to have my things that I'm gonna be working with next to me kind of so I can just like grab in place um, that seems to be very helpful so let's do this one boom Okay, so we're just kind of, and the best part is, this is so fun, and it's food. It's just food. <laughs> playing with food. So we're playing right. with food, essentially, you know, like, and yes, my hands are thoroughly clean. Um, okay, so we got that going on. We got a nice little pattern. I've got my pepperoni next to my cheddar. I have a little dish, which I do want the apricot jam next to the brie, because I love the way that jams and honey play with uh, brie. I think that's a great combination. I also feel like this, actually, I'm going to do this pate. Let's see, what shape do I want the pate in? Let's do it like this. So pate is a bit softer. Do not be um, put off by this. I know, I'm like, when I'm looking at it now, I'm like, oh, this does not look appetizing, but <laughs> it is so, so tasty. For all of my friends who have not tried pate, I highly recommend it. Put this oh, here. Now I'm going to, yeah, okay. I'm going to put this here next to the goat and in between the brie, because I think that they would play really well together. together. Okay. And I'm going to leave this hunk here just to have a hunk of hunk. <laughs> and then I'm going to arrange some of this duck sausage that Jen will probably not touch. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. It's got clove. She's not really into that. I'm but not a clove fan, but I, 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 that. I like to try eccentric meats. But again, I always start with the premise of saying, like, obviously put on the board what you will eat. You know, there's no sense mm, in putting. Right. Like Jen loves the honey ham or honey <laughs> turkey, and I love doing that for you. I love rolling it into a cute little well, stack. Honey it, inter, under turkey and ham on my board. <laughs> have you seen the Hillshire sandwich? commercials where they like layer and layer and layer and layer. I'm like, who doesn't want that? Right. Like, I put that on a board. It's great. Okay, so we are, I'm going to put the goat here in the corner. My favorite. Jen's favorite. I'm going to put the blueberry side Katie up. Jean, Jean Chiglia says, this hey, is amazing. Yes. It, it really is. You have to come and do one with us. And Lindsay says, Choo choo. Choo choo board. That's <laughs> choo -choo right. Board. She does say choo choo board. I'll have one choo choo board, please. <laughs> okay. So I loved your tip. I'm sorry to interrupt you yeah, for that. Yeah, yes. For cutting that. So I, I 
Uh, I apologize, I did not bring the uh, floss. It's okay, but that's so smart. It is smart, and I really like it because I will show you. Um, you can kind of see, I'll use this knife to cut the, and granted I, you know, oh, that's pretty clean. Um, but it's not perfect. Like, it's a little jagged, and it, just if you want, like, really precise, clean cuts of the goat cheese, when you use the floss, what happens is the way that it cuts through, it just looks so clean and sexy and, like, even more. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't even need it. <laughs> it's, like, it's blueberry vanilla goat cheese. Seriously. Like, it doesn't really need extra sexy. If you haven't had sexy. that, you're going to have to find it and get it. Oh yes, God, it is literally so everybody's good. fan favorite. It, it is. It is a fan um, favorite. I will say, when I'm cutting the log, a lot of the blueberries fall kind off. of fall off, but... I tend to keep them and I'll sprinkle them yep, like the all okay. over the board because why would we want to waste, waste any of that? Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> totally. I'm going to add some of this just to the side here and then I'm going to nestle in a big fat strawberry. And FYI, mine and my bestie Lisa's favorite combination is a slice of strawberry with a slice of that blueberry. Oh, vanilla. good. Oh my so, God, I haven't even had that. Oh, that's, man, that's the other cool so thing. There's good. like endless combinations so, with so this. Good. Yes, I highly that's agree. Oh, I'm gonna have to try that and I wanna make it easy too. So I'm like asking myself, I think we should slice some strawberries. Jen, can I trouble you for a paper towel? Okay. Thank you. I have this wet one right oh, here. Oh, perfect. Yay, good. <laughs> that is, I will say, that is something to look out for for the blueberry okay. is it in, you immediately you have to wash your hands. Like, hey, wait. Lindsay says, who doesn't love sexy cheese? I don't know. I don't care to meet these people. I don't know them because they're not in my life. We are not friends. We do not associate with those who do not appreciate sexy cheese. Sexy cheese. That's right. I'm like, you know you're getting old when so you're like, hey there, Gouda. Do you come here often? <laughs> this is me and you. I'm looking oh for gosh, a Gouda time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me clean oh this board up, and I'm going to slice you. some strawberry. Oh, thanks, Jen. I was going to say, I can, I can help with that. We could tag team this. Oh, I'm just making a mess now. Sure. Okay. <laughs> so we got our board. We're rocking it. Everything's looking good. Everything's looking gravy. I'm going to insert some beautiful um, crackers here because, of course, you need crackers to eat everything with. And I'm just arranging them. So now I'm kind of at the phase where I have my meats. I have my cheeses. Now I'm starting to tuck things into places. And the way I look at these boards is, have you ever seen a Renaissance picture where the food is just overflowing everywhere and it's like a gluttonous yeah. feast? That's how I feel about the board. <laughs> like, I want you to look at this board and just think decadence, you know? Right. So I'm trying to shove a berry and a, you know, a piece of nut and a cracker all throughout here. So. I'm gonna finish tucking some of this delicious pepperoni. And then I am going to insert another berry. Um, so there's lots of cute things you can do to add more um, shapes to your board. Um, one of them is to take a strawberry, preferably one that looks like this because it's kind of got an apex and we can make a heart out of this. Yeah. So we can remove the stem and I'm cutting into a V shape like ah. so, a little heart, right? Cute. And then we'll expose the flesh and then like you get heart. like a little heart shape, Cute. which is really nice nestled amongst the other berries here. Nothing for you yet, man. Nothing for you. Yet. <laughs> oh, <Take it> sweet <laughs> puppy. Okay, and then I have these gorgeous, and I love raspberries because to me they kind of look like gems, like rubies. Mm. So I like raspberries to go with brie. So I'm going to set one right in the center there, and I'm going to set some around. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, it's so good because it's tart and sweet and the brie is kind of funky. I also have these gorgeous rainbow carrots and I like a fresh bite with the... I like something to break up all the richness of the board and I think that between eating a bite of a strawberry or a raspberry, the uh, vegetables are a really great way to do that. 
Um, I did not bring uh, pickles because I didn't think you liked them. <laughs> <laughs> and my whole shtick is like, only eat what you like. So I was not going to bring something I did not think oh, that my okay. friend Jen was going to. <laughs> She's like, oh, you shouldn't have, but you did. Thanks. I'm willing to try almost everything. The only thing I'm not a, a super fan of is olives. I don't really do olives. A lot of people totally dislike olives. Yeah, I get um, that. But I'm like to be honest. I'm gonna be honest and say I don't know if I've really like tried to eat an olive. I know, don't so like. How do you know you don't like it? Know. You never <laughs> eat an olive? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure I have like all chopped up somehow. No, I mean, like I mean, I've, I've I mean, had a, it like olive. Yeah. It's a whole no, olive. I've never eaten a whole olive. So I've eaten it like. <laughs> gonna sound uh, really stupid now. I like it chopped up, like a tapenade, like in my bruschetta. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. it's kind of like I don't really like to eat tomatoes, but I like to eat the bruschetta. Oh my god, people have food aversions, and they're it's so, so weird. funny. I won't eat those little tomato. Like I don't want to eat tomatoes whole like that. Like take a bite. Yeah. But eating it chopped up and I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it makes sense. I, but it is also like in, in like vinegar and. Yeah, oil. Yeah, so, right. My grandfather hated avocados, but he loved guacamole. Like, oh, he could so, just house guacamole. You hate yeah. avocados? I know, I don't like and avocados. avocados. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't eat the avocados either. <laughs> when you're Mexican, it's like a birthright, girl. Like, you were born, you came out the womb with an, with avocado, an avocado in your, in your hand. hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she had twins. Jennifer Mitchell doesn't like olives either. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. Oh. They look weird to me. A I, lot I of mean, people don't. It's totally I know my funny. girls. I know, you know, Stacy and Pam, they love their uh, martinis, martinis with the olive, their yes. olives. And I'm like, oh, I'll take a sweet drink. <laughs> yeah, and that's totally cool, because, like, whatever. She's It'd be so weird if everybody liked the same thing. Oh, this is true. Right? Standing up those crackers. I am standing up the crackers. Now, again, like, I'm just looking for places to put things, because... This is supposed to be a renaissance gluttonous treat. <laughs> also, um, Jen had these awesome, super delicious um, Parmesan those. bites. I do. I love these, too. Um, mm. They are, you can get them at Costco, too, the Wisps. They're so mm. crunchy, salty, delicious, like umami flavor. So I'm going to just put these over here in the corner. Yeah, I'm zooming in on it right now. Okay. They are yeah. yummy. Yeah. In fact, i got to eat one. They suck. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to help myself. It wanted me to do it. I'm sorry. Um, one thing I wanted to mention is <clears throat> anything that we cut or slice gives it more of a, how do I say? <laughs> I'm going to say sex appeal, and that's not even what I'm looking for. I just have no other vocabulary to articulate what I want to say. But, for example, this purple carrot doesn't it look nicer sliced open? Like, and you can see, kind of those it's almost like looking at a tree trunk. You can see... The veining or whatever. Yeah, is. there's something so beautiful that's innate within nature, and I really <laughs> like to show off that because I think nature is beautiful, mm -hmm. and it doesn't need a lot of finesse. So another thing that I love to do is take these really delicious uh, snap, snap peas. peas, yeah, and I like to cut... <clears throat> I like to cut the end off, the little hard part here, and then I like to expose the seeds. It's really funny because that was like one of the first things I noticed on when I was like, oh my gosh, she like, that look, I don't know why, I was like, that's so cool. I love it. <laughs> I, I love, love <laughs> how yeah. often do you get to see the inside of a snappy, right. like, I don't know, I just love showing you like a little glimpse of like nature's finest like candy, you know? Um, so there is something about that. Also, you can tuck away vegetables underneath as you're stacking them to kind of give the um, plate more body, more volume. So I'm always finding ways to, oh, you know what? I left the end on that. These ends are a little tough, so it's nice when you can chop them off. I'm always finding ways to, um, Bulk it up. Bulk it up and give it volume. Like um, what we learn when we're plating food as a chef, it's all about um, height, adding height to the plate. So you'll see uh, if you go to a very fancy restaurant, like you'll get a portion this big of, you know, whatever. And then they'll add like scallions to the top or microgreens. And it's always this 
you're always it's looking because it's very pleasing to the eye. Like even if you take a picture, you're yeah. using the rule of thirds, right? You're trying to look for, you know, that perfect shot. So for me, this is that. Um, I'm gonna move on to some delicious nuts I have here, some pistachios. Um, I love pistachios because they're buttery and these are roasted salted. So it's like roasted salted buttery. Again, a great way to fill space. I also have my all time favorite, which are these gorgeous candied pecans. I love just oh, putting yeah. little pecans everywhere. <laughs> I know they're so, so they're yummy. like they're candy. I mean, they're candy. <laughs> they are candy. <laughs> <laughs> they quite literally they are. are candy. <laughs> So I'm just going to add some walnuts here. Hi, Rasko. Rasko's like, maybe from this angle I can reach you. <laughs> Kathy Ryan Hart says, you're my kind of girl. <laughs> Darn too, Ingirl. E? You must be my kind of girl, too. Everybody loves colorful. Everybody yeah. loves, like, it's you can't deny it. Though. It's very appeasing. It really is. When you did my first board and you had like the little um, heart cutouts of like the radishes or whatever, yes. I'm like, talk about like taking the time. I and know. Just... You know, that was funny. Um, so I'm a personal chef and one of the things I did was a, um, a little girl wanted to do an ice cream cake for her birthday. Aww. And I wanted like basically the whimsy that you have on your boards you know i wanted to articulate that into an ice cream cake so i bought those cutouts to do for like fruit and i had star shapes and hearts oh, and flowers and there are these little metal cutouts and i was like when am i ever going to use these again <gasps> you know so i have these radishes and a lot of people don't like radishes <laughs> i know it's so I funny like i love Mark radish too and i don't i'm like no. i love radish again my i don't uh, i'm not gonna say it's a mexican thing because but my mother loves radishes it's really big in mexican culture to just have like sliced radish with your everything or just yeah. eat radishes whole um yeah, they're spicy whole. they like, are yeah. they do yeah, have a little spice to them a little tanginess um so i'm kind of just like drizzling the um nuts where i see fit over here i will say if you are going to make this in advance, do not put the nuts on the board right away because they have a tendency to get a little soggy and I like a crunchy nut. So I would avoid putting that on the board um, straight away. Same um, as your crackers and things like that. Like exactly. that can absorb moisture. And you know, when I make the boards for you guys, I put the and crackers on the I don't, thing, yeah. there's not even crackers on the board. Um, I feel like these are unnecessary. These are these cute little mini mozzarella bars, or uh, balls that Jen had. Super delicious. We have to put these in here somewhere. What would this go good with? I feel like the pepperoni. Ooh, I'll yeah. put them on the cheddar cheese. <laughs> well, Katie Gianciglia says, um, Pretty sure I ate all the candy pecans from the board you made. <laughs> See, I, Man. you know what, girl? I knew I liked you. I knew <laughs> I liked you before I even met you, and now I like you even more. Because they're they're delicious. Like, right. and you're like, oh, it's healthy, right? It's like <laughs> I'm eating this pecan. Okay, so I see little, and so if you really want to get down to the nitty gritty, you can like look at your board full circle. Um, I'll show you guys it from this angle. We'll turn go. it around. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, let me zoom in on it. Yeah. Beautiful. So now I'm getting a good look at all the different nooks and crevices and all the little places that I can still put raspberries. Perhaps I'll slice another strawberry. Love it. I'm zoomed in on it. Awesome. Oh, wonderful. Awesome. Now, Laura Sullivan says, hi. Hi, I've been Laura. having a busy day helping a friend clean. Aw. That's so nice of you, Laura. That and is Tori nice. Georgiana says, how far in advance can you Hi, make Tori. a tray? Good question. Um, for yourself or as a consumer for me to give to you? Or <laughs> would it to, um that's a good question too. So let's say if it so if I was going to make a tray for myself or for some friends, how how far in advance would I what's the Farthest in advance I should be making my tray. So I would probably try to stick to a maximum of 24 hours. Because okay. here's what happens. The minute you expose any of the meats or cheeses or fruits for that matter to oxygen, it already starts to lose its integrity. So it would be fine if you loosely wrap this with plastic and then stuck it in the refrigerator. Of course, you would never want to leave this out, obviously. Um, 
that would be my maximum. Um, that's the maximum I feel comfortable delivering a board to my friends is if they have um, 24 hour notice. Other than that, I don't really feel comfortable giving someone a board. Um, right, because Tori says both. Okay, see that? Oh, so. cool. And so for me personally, I would need at least 48 hours so that I could properly buy the ingredients that we discussed are going to go on your board. And then I have maximum time to create the board for you. And then we can discuss delivery or pickup in that matter. But 48 hours is optimal for me because I really do care about where I purchased my ingredients. And I really want to know how the board's coming together. And I would never want to do that last minute. She was very specific. <laughs> yeah. very st- Wait, when are you going to eat this board? Because she was like, you were yes. like, I'm going to drop it off at this hour. Yes. <laughs> You're going to eat it within these. I think it's important. It's important You're to so know. You're so right. And that was so sweet like to think of. I, and I get that. Oh, I, absolutely. I totally you have to. Now, what you what you do when you get the board is your own thing. I mean, I mean, yeah, we <laughs> ate it for three days. But. <laughs> yeah. Our Phoenix is back on YouTube. <laughs> Hi, Phoenix. Phoenix, right? We having a fun. We having a wonderful time. Oh, good. These are little dried apricots. I love that you have these. So good. Hey. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. <laughs> yeah. We had a little hiccup there. Man, oh this goodness. is looking really good. It is. It's looking beautiful. You know, I didn't bring edible flowers. I'm going to start growing yeah. some. I want to start growing, like, so chamomile. Smart. Yeah. yeah it's so obvious. I have to make a special trip to get them every time I go to Restaurant Depot. I just, like, specifically go yeah. to get, like, certain things. But um, I would just rather have them, like on hand fresh in the garden so that's the only thing kind of missing from this board i would say um i'm gonna add some apricot jam here to our little dish sorry about that little hiccup everybody i don't know what happened it's not your fault mark you it's the gods of technology this was too much fun for the gods of technology <laughs> to handle, like, handle all the fun it's too it. good <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> and I think that about wraps it up. What do you think, Jen? I love it. Looks amazing. So this is pretty much the gist of Let me a. Just zoom on in yeah, yeah, please do. This is the gist of a fabulous charcuterie board. I do have little um, Kit Kat bars that uh, Jen I saw in her. Uh, <laughs> I saw her house. I was like, "Ooh, girl, let's do something with those Kit Kat bars." I don't know where they would see themselves on the board, but. Does it break me off a piece of that? <laughs> okay, I got you. I got you. Ooh, chocolate and strawberries, chocolate and fruit. That sounds good. A little. Yeah, you're. Uh, I, what did we get? We had uh, the chocolate covered pretzels. So yes, I, <laughs> but I love the chocolate. Kathy Reinhardt says, "I so I have the song Sexual Healing going through my head as I see this." <laughs> I want a charcuterie healing. Yes, <laughs> charcuterie healing, baby. I love it. Yes. So typically when I do a board, I put these on the side, you know, um, but I've noticed a lot of people end up putting them on the board, which I think is cool too. Um, the yeah, chocolate covered pretzels are, so they, this is just like an afterthought, but yeah, now awesome. you have your little nibbles. And now everywhere. you eat. And now you eat. <laughs> a feast for the eyes, a feast for the belly. Beautiful. Awesome. There you have it. Beautiful. Yay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for letting me share. This uh, is so yeah. wonderful. So we're going to take like a couple minute break really cool. quick to cool. just clean up our stuff, our area, mm -hmm. and then we'll reset for pouring your charcuterie board. So remember I always say we don't want to eat or drink near doing your charcuterie or near food. Um, near, yeah, you know what I mean? it's been a long time. You don't want to eat or drink <laughs> when you're pouring your charcuterie or any resin because there is chemicals um, involved. So Word. we never want to eat or drink around it. But we're definitely going to snack on that one as soon as we're done. Cool. <laughs> I will put some plastic wrap over this and we can cool. bring it upstairs. It's beautiful. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait. We need a final picture here. Okay. A final photo. Oh, yeah. Yay. Ta -da. I'm so lucky. I get you in the house. I know. I love right. being here. Chef this is like, house. it's ridiculous how fun this so is. So cool. And how, like, it's delicious and fun. What am I, adulting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> adulting done right, girl. Yeah. Yes. Holy. Awesome. All right. Mm. Mm -hmm. So cool. <laughs> She's like, mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. 
rascal. He's like, hey, what's going on now? Y'all are moving. Wow, that looks good. It does look good. And that was on, this is our large board, for those of you that got the large board. So that was our large board. I'm going to scoop this one over a smidge, and I'll let you go over here. And now we're going to go, we're going to change over to our beautiful shower curtain. <laughs> beautiful shower curtain. <laughs> beautiful shower curtain for our board. So... Give you a board. Yay! Depends on how much stuff we got I'm going so on excited. here. Let's see. All right. So everybody that got their items, I'll set it out while we I'll kind of go over it as we as I put it out. So uh-uh. My camera's doing doing the jump around again. Uh, jump around. Would you like me to sit here or? No, you can sit over here. You okay. can. Yeah. Uh, uh. Actually, yeah. Maybe I will have you sit yeah, there yeah. this time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Hey, everybody. So I was like, but, but what about the food? Oh <laughs> oh, what up? Oh, what about the food? Now she's setting up that paint <laughs> stuff. What's going on? That pity <laughs> fool. This is not it. Oh my gosh, Rascal! I love this you. Is too much. He's so a funny. Puppy. All right, so you have your boards, whether you have a single or a set, um, whether you have the rectangles or the hexagon shapes. Uh, we have gloves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have masks. I love it. I love it. Because we don't want to breathe in the mica powders. They are floaty. Mm -hmm. We have a set of resin. So this is um, A and B, parts A and B, your epoxy, your resin, and your hardener. There is an extra set of gloves usually in there for you as well. That's what's losing his mind. I know. He's like, wait a minute. Wait where a minute. did the food go? It was food. just here. What happened it to it? It was here. I saw it. I smelled it. What and happened? And it's gone. I'm letting him smell my hands probably He's like, like that. that's what not going to last. What is happening? <laughs> Hi, buddy. I know. I'm so sorry. I just totally messed everything up for you. Laura Sullivan says, I am 100% doing this for my birthday in September. Yay! Yes, exactly. She says, I love grass. We're sniffing around. For I know. <laughs> He's just like, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I know. Where'd it go? That's terrible. Kathy oh Reinhardt says, no glove, no love. Oh, hey. <laughs> I heard that, girl. I heard that. So funny. Ain't no loving without the gloving. So you have a multitude of cups. We have, can you have me on the bar? Of course. Those graduated cups. This one? There, yep. Those. Okay, here you go. You have in your, um, in your packet, you have graduated cups or red cups, depending on. I ran out of these. So your um, parts A and B are always the same. So you're just going to pour the whole bottle in for those. And we'll go over all of our steps together. And now and Holly wants to make an appearance. Now Holly's going to yeah, chirp and squawk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we can, right behind you is oh, all sure. the other colors. Oh, okay, if cool. If you want to choose more. Okay. Because I know you were kind of like, oh, wait, I like that too. Right, no. <laughs> so the top one is all glitters. Okay. And the bottom one is all your mica powders. Okay. So all of our colors. Okay, so I'll go over all of our supplies again really quick. So your boards, I love you too. Your <laughs> gloves, mm -hmm. our mask, we have the graduated cup, which we'll pour our A and D into and we'll mix together. We have a large popsicle stick to stir with. We have some smaller cups that will you'll put your mica powders into so i gave everybody either little packets or little cups of mica powders you don't have to use that whole cup at all you're just going to put a little bit of each one in start stirring and then you'll kind of um, do it to the desired color that you want what will happen is the more mica powder that you have on there the darker your color will be or the more pigmented it'll be so something like this mickey board has a lot of that white mica powder in it. Mm -hmm. So you can't see the wood underneath. Mm -hmm. When you use less of the mica powder, you'll see some of that wood grain come through underneath. I want that. So it's up to you how much, how much you actually use, okay? Okay. 
And you can kind of test that and I'll show you as you're stirring, you can kind of test it as you lift your stick. If you can see the stick through your mica powder or through your resin, then you'll know, you'll know how dark it is. <laughs> so I'm going to start first with gloves. I'm just going to watch you. Can I watch you at first or do I do it with you? It tells you, you can watch first. Totally fine. <laughs> yes. I'm like a watch and then hands on. I'm a watch on. and then a hands on. Okay. Yeah, because I have another thing that I have to pour over, so that's oh, totally good, fine. Good. All right. So first we are doing gloves. I'll make sure that your workspace is protected. One of the very pertinent things to know is that you need to have a very level working space. So it, resin is self-leveling. If you don't have a level workspace, your resin's going to move to wherever mm -hmm. is the least side of resistance. <laughs> and you may have, you know, it may pool to one corner if it's not level. <laughs> so I always like to check to make sure that my, um, my area is level. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, we did move the table, so I'll work on that as we move. But, um, so level workspace, gloves, mask as we work with our mica powders. Um, Make sure you have a covered workspace. So I'm allergic to resin, so that's why I make sure that I am wearing some protection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> smart, smart. To make sure. So part one and part B, or part A and part B. We're going to pour both into our graduated cup. And you can measure to make sure that they are the same as you go. But um, And everybody that ordered depending on the board that you got, ha may have a slightly different size bottle. So these should be about four ounces each. So I'm making sure that this is about four ounces. And if it's not, but I'm only gonna pour, yeah, this is just under four it looks like. Of course, if I let it take long enough. <laughs> Does it drip out so slowly like that? It does, because one of them is kind of thick, and one of them is, uh, in fact, this one's probably even thicker, and one of them is a little less thick. They have different densities. Mm. So we're at four I'm ounces. I'm sure about four ounces you yep, got in there. we're good. So it, it is equal parts, equal parts A and B. If your resin is not mixed in equal parts, if it's not mixed properly, it won't set properly. Mm, okay. Okay? Say so, that again. So if your resin is not mixed properly, if you don't have the correct ratio, then it will not set properly. Mm -hmm. The other thing that you don't want to do um, to change the way it sets up is what, when you are adding your mica powders, not add a ton of the mica powder because then again, it will also change the way it finishes. It mm. may not cure properly. Um, it may not have a complete shine to it. So if that ever happens, and I've had that happen a few times, what I do is I just pour another clear coat on top mm. of it. So now you're pouring the other four ounces. Yep. So, I mean, if you take a peek on Amazon for resin stuff, there is tons of silicone molds. Anything that has a silicone mold, you can pour resin into and it'll pop right out of when it cures. That's cool. So, yeah, it's so neat. There's so much, so much of resin stuff right now. I have little um, succulent silicone molds. That'd be cool. Mm, yes, it would. That would yeah. be cool. I was going to use it for chocolate, but... <laughs> Pretty much anything that you, any kind of chocolate silicone molds that you have, you can use for resin. resin. That's awesome. Yep. All right, so we have our eight ounces. Mm-hmm. When we stir, we're going to stir, and not whip it, but we're going to stir. It's going to take a couple of minutes of stirring. Shut. I know, Holly is making her appearance tonight. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's going to happen is it's going to get cloudy because it's a chemical reaction to make the resin now. Okay. Okay, so it's going to get cloudy. You don't want to turn it too fast, right? And you don't, you just don't want to whip it. Okay. You don't want to, we want to try to omit air bubbles if we can. Oh, okay. Okay, if we have air bubbles later, we can either pop them with a little stick with a little hair dryer on low or a heat gun. A heat, heat gun works the best mm. for this. To mix it? Um, to when we um, 
set it. When we pop the bubbles. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. so because you're mixing so often, and you'll you end up with bubbles in it. Sure. So when we pour it, those little air bubbles float to the surface, and then you kind of have to pop them with the with some okay. heat. <clears throat> right now, um, Kathy says that's one thing I hated about liquids in the pharmacy. The manufacturer says it's sixteen ounce bottle, but you could get almost never get all of it out 16 of the bottle. Sixteen ounce, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then uh, Jennifer Mitchin says, is resin expensive to get into? It's, you know what, it, it's really not if you know exactly what you want. Mm. <laughs> what happens is, <laughs> you start to get addicted to the tons <laughs> of different glitters that you can buy for it. <laughs> oh, I see. And then you have like just so many options. That would be me. <clears throat> Uh, the, the, so yeah you should see my charcuterie cart it's like really? an entire smorgasbord of different crackers and candies oh that's and, so cool yeah because you just want it all yeah <laughs> i know that's that's the thing and then so that's why i've kind of been introducing these workshops to you guys a little bit at a time <laughs> first we'll do a tray and then we'll do we're doing a charcuterie board and then we'll do a something a little bit more advanced with the um with the mirrors on the tray um, and then I'll show you something that I'm doing as um, kind of a memory thing, a memento, um, mm -hmm. for my family. And we will work on doing those. Um, so my mom, when I visited her a few weeks ago, gave me three jewelry boxes full of my grandmother's, like, costume jewelry. Cool. Like... I gaudy. love you, but really gaudy. Super gaudy. <laughs> really yeah. gaudy. My crazy. grandma too, girl. <laughs> it's like she went through some catalog on QVC. It was I was like, I'll <laughs> take that. And Most that of it was like that. Avon, I think. Exactly. I feel like with yeah. Avon. Um, <laughs> so my mom's like, you. she would want you to have this. I'm like, really, mom? I'm never going to wear it. Really? I know. What am yeah. I going to do with this? <laughs> so I decided that I'm going to um, kind of try to break off some of those like posts of the earrings and things like that the pins and oh, then cool. set them in a Love tray that. and then pour resin over top of it so Love that it's that. a uh, it's, it's a usable piece of art and it's kind of a little you know what, what else would be cool if you could do just the frame uh for like a picture frame that too that's true too maybe i can find a, a mold or like if you did want to incorporate into jewelry like a locket that's true there's like, there's so much of it. I was like, there's enough here for me to make one for everybody. Like oh, all that's of her, awesome. I know. love that. So that will be, you know, Christmas. Very cool. <laughs> oh, cool. So, um, so I, I want to stir until, so I do see some bubbles and that's okay. Okay. I want to stir until it's really clear again so that I'm mm -hmm. seeing through it and I don't see strings in there. What looks like strings. There's no cloudiness to it. So we're pretty good now. Okay. Homogenous. So making sure I kind of scrape those edges, scrape that bottom really well. Okay. And then what we'll do is we're going to set up our colors. So, sorry, I hate the math. I really do, but I know it's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> so what you'll do is you'll take your cups, whether they are your these slightly bigger ones or the tinier ones that come in your, um, your box. You're going to take those mica powders and drop at least, let's say, a quarter of a teaspoon maybe into your cup. Now, I know that I'm going to pour most of my board is going to be white. So that's why I have so much in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can mix your glitters along with your mica powders. You can mix your glitters with just clear and then you can pour that on top of it but what happens is as you pour clear onto a color that will dilute the color that's below it so i like to mix my glitters in with whatever colors mm. i'm using so i use i chose a white mica powder and i have a fine white glitter and i also have kind of a chunkier star gl <laughs> star glitter and this is why we wear a mask <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so, safety gear. So I, I do have some star glitter in there too. So you just can't quite see it. Um, and then I have a gold. So I'm going to pour white and gold. So Ooh. obviously I'm going to do most of my color in, or most of my resin in this cup. And just a little bit in this one because I want to sort of make like maybe a marble pattern in there. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to drizzle some of that gold in there. So all we're going to do is pour into your cups that have your mica powders in it. <clears throat> 
So I'm going to start with this, see what happens. I'm going to leave a little bit left over just in case, because you can always mix more or add more, but we can't quite take away. So then you have to mix each of these individually. Same technique, we're going to mix, scraping the bottom. Are you going to make bubbles doing this? We are going to probably end up making bubbles doing this but that's why we'll, we'll have to kind of turn on the heat gun over there and I'll have to pop them because I notice mine isn't plugged in over here. Heat gun? Yeah, but I can't get to this plug over here so it doesn't really matter, no. no. Unless there's a, a strip up front. <clears throat> oh, it's so pretty. So it's like this pearlescent kind of yeah, white color. I love that. So as you're mixing, depending on how much of that mica powder you put into your resin this is when you'll lift your stick and go okay is this how dark i want it you can oh, kind of yeah. see just a little bit of that wood through it mm -hmm. so you can add more of that mica powder to it if you want to <clears throat> so that's why i'm saying you don't have to use everything that i gave you and i'm just making sure i scrape the bottom good to get any of those powders off because when we don't mix well you may end up having those little chunky areas <laughs> after you pour it's kind of like the pancake batter yeah you know and you mix and then those lumps kind of pop open yeah you don't want that no. <laughs> all right so we have our white mixed and then i have this little bitty jar little bitty container of this gold color so pretty which is yeah it's almost like a, a royal gold color so when you guys order your kits from us we do ask that you tell us what colors you would like to see in your kits. Um, <clears throat> oh, look at you, honey. Good job. All trying to stay out of the camera and everything. <laughs> Good job, Mark. He is. He's like, I don't want to be seen. We'll let you eat some charcuterie now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> He's great. So I have this little bit of gold in here. A nice deep gold. It looks like liquid gold. Beautiful. Liquid gold. Hey, all right. So you'll mix up all of your colors, as many as you want to. I like to usually say if you're doing multiple colors, to um, try and do light and dark colors next to one another or within each other because then you can see them better. Mm -hmm. um, one thing to know about resin is that it does not end up like you pour it. So mm -hmm. <laughs> even though you may have a pattern set up, it may not stay that way. <laughs> so the board that we um, took and we used today had this, um, had kind of a pattern like this. So pretty. So what I did on this one was I poured, let's say the um, blue or the black patches, I poured white patches and then yellow patches, and then I just drug my popsicle sticks through them. So you can create those patterns in all different ways. This is kind of that dragged pattern. And the other thing that I do is with this one kind of has oh, these little swirly, almost looks like roses. Pretty good on the camera. Yeah, now you can. But <laughs> you got that sign in the back. Oh, yeah, that's better. <laughs> so when you pour for this one, what I did was I poured mostly pink and then I poured kind of like white. <laughs> Hi. No, you can see my reflection on the. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Then I poured white in there, kind of like white dots, and then I kind of swirled those um, white dots in there, and that sort of made it look like rosettes almost. Mm -hmm. But it does kind of set up differently. So we're just gonna pour and see what happens. That's all. After but you've mixed already, you after mixed your you've colors. mixed your colors. And I know I'm, I'm being pretty simple today here. So I'm just gonna pour my white. And I did only use probably about half. I did only use about half of that. So about four ounces of this resin. Mm-hmm. You scrape for this the resin board. Too. They kinda they tell you not to, but I, I do. I think they tell you not to because they're afraid that you don't have like, you know, it all incorporated completely. Mm. Well, um, the conversation is, um, oh, well, first, Jennifer said she wanted to take wedding flowers in the resin and make something to display. Cool. Yes. Okay, so, and then they were talking about the price. 
Yes. And she said, like, it's 25 to 32 for smaller bottles. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Laura Sullivan says, my Michael still doesn't have any resin. Probably will be a while. It, and then Jennifer Mitchell says, is resin hard to find? Uh, so I purchased some on, I'm usually, pro, pro, the, 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 I swear, it's not my first day with these lips. <laughs> I usually purchase from Amazon, depending on um, what I've got going. Uh, but because I was doing such large projects like tables, well, I've, uh, when we were doing workshops here at the shop, we were doing um, tables, like little side tables. Uh -huh. So I was buying them in gallon containers. Oh. So when we started sending out kits, I started buying them in the smaller containers, and that was all really through Amazon. So I have my weight. Now you can pour, because there's such a, there's kind of like a lip in this, yeah. you can pour more into it if you want to, if you had to. Um, I think I'm gonna actually reserve the rest of this and it does start to set up immediately, but I'm gonna pour another board. I'm gonna pour a, another small board with this. So I'll do <laughs> another one for you. All right, we got our special guest on both uh -oh. Facebook and YouTube. Uh-oh. You know, morning sweetheart from Campbell Hi, River, BC <laughs> Vancouver Island, Canada. <laughs> How and are then you? on Facebook, morning sweethearts from <laughs> Campbell River, Vancouver <laughs> Island, BC, Canada. Hi, guys. Dave is on YouTube and I'm on Facebook. <laughs> you guys are wonderful. <laughs> You're so cute. Hey, Dave. Beautiful. <laughs> so cool. <Yo. laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys are too cute. So once I have my white poured down, I'm just going to take my gold and I just want to drizzle it almost like it's um, like a, like marble, right? It's kind of like little streaks in there. Mm. There's no really right or wrong way to do this. You never know what it's gonna turn out to be. <laughs> yeah, okay. He, on, on YouTube he says, I need to open a window. I think I'm high. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, this stuff, depending on what it is, you do wanna make sure if you are buying on your own that you're finding a low odor, mm. low VO, VOC, is that what it is? A uh, low odor version of this. Um, you really should have, I didn't men, didn't mention that, I do have an air purifier going. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that you have an open space, for sure. So, I just kind of dripped this in there. I don't know how yeah, zoom you can get. Right. So what happens when we turn on the heat, you can move this around with the heat. Okay, so you'll see a little bit of a difference. Okay. Good okay. try. Let's see if it works. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Yeah. This is quite a sticky mess from the last step. Let's make sure you can fire it up. Well, it... No, nope, it's not working? No, it's just because it's like literally full of resin from... Oh, my goodness. Our last guest. <laughs> oh. I'm going to have to buy a new one. Yeah. I can't even... It's not a... Do you want me to issue with the plugs? No, it's not. I can't even move the switch. You want me to try? It's so full of resin. Mommy. Yeah, bud. Where's the the cat cheese? Oh yeah, it's a. Uh, the what? Oh yeah. The cat stuck. cheese. The yeah, cat it is. Cheese. It's totally like resin shut. Okay. He says, "Where's the cat cheese?" It, I don't Maybe. know, buddy. In the fridge, if there's any left. <laughs> All right, let's what try. What happened? Let's Nothing happened. try. Will you try and plug this one in instead? Because the hair dryer will work on low. Okay. Very sorry to make you crawl, honey. <laughs> oh, Mark. It's been a few years. <laughs> See, check it out. It's not working? Yep, good. You're good. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah. All right, so there let's, we go. Let's, let's I knew that was going to happen. That's okay. Help you so what will happen is this will pop all those little air bubbles. It will bring them to the surface and pop them. And then, at the, the ripples. and then at the same time, you'll be able to really move this however you want to. So if mm. I want to push that gold, it will sort of melt it and kind of spread it out for me if I want yeah, I to. Yeah, I see the ripples you're making. So right. this melts your resin. 
And this is also the time when you don't want to be hovering over it for, mm. you know, <laughs> those uh, fumes. Fumes, yeah, thank you. Yeah, he says, what well, we have to do for our wifeies, right? Yeah, yeah right. exactly. You better be happy, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> <laughs> I know, guys. I don't what love happened? it yet. Oh, you stopped it? I'm like, I don't love it, so. You don't love it? No, nope, I don't love it. What so happened? That's okay. I don't know. It just wasn't what I was thinking. So it's okay. You need a pattern? Yeah. Yeah, but the way it looks now is not going to be the way it's going to look later. Not always. You're right. So it's okay. She's going she gonna so to take a new gonna, direction. Yep, yeah, exactly. She'll go upstairs and then come back down here tomorrow and it'll be looking like something completely different. All right. I'm going to stick with my stripes. Right. When you did the stripes the last time, I was like, why are you, why are you drawing? She took the, she took the <laughs> popsicle stick and that's, why did you do it's that? Her move. It's her I said, move. it was all perfect. It looks so perfect. And she did it like that. And then the next day it came down. And it was, it was that purple and blue. And I was like, wow, that came out pretty good. <laughs> that's right. All right. So this is what happens. It just, we just kind of move and change, you know, bop and weave it. with what we do. So let's see. Oh, Chucky. <laughs> that was Chucky. Ooh, that's nice. That's yeah, beautiful. See what happens? I love it. I mean, it's not a. Mm, I don't know. So we just play with these. Okay. You know, it's funny because that's how I feel about the charcuterie boards. Like sometimes I'll have a concept and it's not quite the de way I was picturing it. Right? Yeah, depending on the product, it'll be what it is, and it always ends up being great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's the way it is. So once we kind of play with this a little bit, you do want to again go back to pop those air bubbles, and you'll start to see now what happens is those chunky glitters will yeah. start to float to the top. So you'll start to see my little gold and white stars that were in my white resin oh, float up to the yeah. top. But the uh, but the, the heat is what's bringing it up to the top. Or Not the really. Force from the air. Not really. I mean, the the heat usually brings the air bubbles up to the top. Okay. Because I can see it moving as you're putting the heat. Yep. Yeah. And now it looks like something completely different than it started out with. <laughs> That's right, it is. So, now remember, if it's not completely level, it's which, gonna which, is, which is happening, it's not completely level, because I know I can see that it's moving this mm. way very oh. slowly. So you're going to spin it? Shift it. So. Until you can find a place where you're going to put it where it's level? I'm going to actually sit it right on top of that board. Like that. <laughs> And I'll watch it, and it'll move just a little. I see it moving this yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs> so typically what you should have is a small level, or I have an app on my phone with a level on it. Yeah. And the table was level, but we moved it. <laughs> we moved right. it briefly. Yeah. So, and it's okay. I'll put it up on a shelf or something that's level when we're all done. So that's not a cool. big ordeal. Nice. So that's how we do it. So do you want to uh, yeah. you try and do yours? This is so cool. All right. All right. I'm gonna come and pour another. Uh, I'm gonna pour a little one, and then you can. You're welcome to do a small one and a big one too, if you want to. Yay! Fun, right, so fun. Do one too? Yes. So I want to yeah. make sure I'm being right. safe. Be safe. Let's That's try. Let's you in the shot. Safety first. Should I move over? Are you good? Are we good? Am no, I good you're here? good. Okay. Okay. You, know, you can move over a little bit. I was gonna say you, you can come a little closer. Yeah. Come a little closer to myself. Closer. No. Closer. And you can move these things in front of you. Yeah, move them to the side. Okay. Uh, well, here, we'll yeah, give you what you center. need because you, you had all the colors the you wanted, right? Yes. Yeah, right there is the space. Cool. Um, where is that um, iridescent color? The iridescent. If you don't have it, I can totally do something else. I'm so excited Let's right see. now. <laughs> oh, so excited. Let's see. This is what happens. You know, you have to find oh, yeah. all about this. So. I don't know that I do have that. If you don't, it's all good. I have an awesome purple. 
Yeah, maybe I should switch gears and do like a super colorful purple. I have the, oh, those are the unicorns. We have unicorns. Unicorn. We have an awesome green, which was an amazing little, uh, gosh, what did we do? Uh, the, the Wizard of Oz. Oh, that's really cool. Did the Wizard of Oz. I really want to use this. Oh, yeah. It's like pink and blue in there. So that's now. so cool. So let's see what I can do with that. Um, do I have to do something here? Let's see. So if anyone has questions while you're working, just chat them in. And Mark will let me know. Everybody's so busy. There is, and there's like these. <laughs> Can I do something similar to what you did with these colors? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Yep. Just like this? I like that. I don't know where it'll go. Right. I don't know. Actually, either. you know what would be pretty with that? Like a teal or something yes. blue. Is yes. that yes. over here? There's definitely is a blue in there, right in that corner. Top. This corner right here. Is that a. Ooh, that would be crazy. Yes. I like that. I like oh, that. wait about this one. This is some mermaid stuff right there. Yes. I'm going to go mermaid. Go mermaid. <laughs> go mermaid. Wait, is this the same thing? Because I can just use the rest or some of that if it's the same. It don't matter. It don't. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. Woo! We're just crazy. Love it. Okay. Does it matter which one you put in first? It doesn't. Nope. You can pour whichever you want first into your uh, into your mixing cup. You're gonna mix. I'm a baby on a Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with black on this one. Blackboard with. Um, let's see what happens. Now, why are you doing that? Yeah. Want to talk about your art? Auction for a cause oh, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow so night. Cool. Yes. So tomorrow night we will be doing art for a cause. Ugh. So uh, a year and a half worth of paintings, over 200 paintings. I'm going to try and get through the night. I don't know how long it's going to take us, but <laughs> an hour. Wow. And, uh, yeah. Two, over 200 and probably 50 paintings. I will have out tonight or tomorrow. Tomorrow, not tonight. Too late tonight. <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> what we're going to ask you to do is um, purchase a piece of art for yourself or donate one by um, sending in the I believe I have it as $20 that includes or it might be 25 but I apologize I don't remember um, you'll send in your fee for it that will uh, cover your shipping and then the rest will get donated to a charity or organization you will tell us what charity or organization you would like to see it go to. Uh, if you want it to go to uh, uh, the American Cancer Society, we're going to put your name along with the charity or organization that you would like to see that happen with to, um, it will go on your, with your name, with that charity or organization on our spinning wheel. And uh, probably the, Later in the weekend, uh, until I get everything together, we will spin the wheel to see what charity or organization the funds will all go to. Okay. So, um, again, it w there's over 200 paintings. I may throw a couple of our resin boards in there. I may throw a couple of wine glasses in there as kind of a sneak peek to see if we want to do more things. Mm -hmm. um, every piece is $20. I think I have a a discount in there on shipping if you purchase multiples. Mm -hmm. What will happen is I will show a piece. It'll have number one, number two, whatever. You will comment whatever number you would like to have. Whoever Mark sees first, that's who will get the painting. Um, now remember, some of these paintings are going to have multiples because correct. she does the first painting and then the painting that she does with you guys when we do it live. Correct. So That's some right. of these paintings might be more than one. Yeah. So if you don't if you don't get the painting, the, first you might one, get the, the second, second one, one might get the painting. Right. There you may see three of one or four of one. <laughs> and we start tomorrow at eight PM Eastern time. We do. I we'll think be live on Facebook and YouTube. No, it's gonna it's gotta this be one be on or the Facebook. other. Facebook because you can't see both 
it's hard to go back and forth to the comments. Okay. So I think we have to stick with one. I think All right, we have so we'll stick with Facebook? Yeah, I think that's what I've put down right All right, so, so we'll be on Facebook tomorrow. Yeah. And then the results of all of this will end up on YouTube. Yes. Can I have a big stick, please? You sure can. All right, We're, so. Oh, okay. oh thank you. Ta-da. All right. Just okay. wanted to get that out there for tomorrow. Thank you. I forgot. All right, so let's see. Um. Uh, yeah, Joe Hill says, when do you stop? I never know when to stop or to go too far with something and try to fix it. I know. So, yeah, so that board I don't actually, I really don't love. But, you know. It is what it, it is. It is what it is. <laughs> and it's going to be what it's going to be. It's going to be what it's going to be. <laughs> now, Bethany Henry's here. Hi, she Bethany. Says, I Hi, so Bethany. need to do this. Yes, you do. It's so fun. I'm just mixing the resin and I'm having a blast. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yes. Oh, this is so and fun. Kathy Reinhardt says, I want to be a mermaid. Yeah. I can sing to lure people to their deaths, <laughs> swim all over the ocean, <laughs> have great hair. Clamshell bras and no periods. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's you awesome. Too much. I love you. That's Sorry, awesome. Georgie. Is, is it okay to pour in one color and then mix together more resin and another and add another level? That's what I'm doing. So, whoa. So that's yes, cool. what you can do is you can do this in layers. So if you want to see multiple layers to your board, which is what I did with the with the um, the butterfly tray mm -hmm. you can pour one whole layer you're gonna let that set up overnight it's 24 hours for it to set completely okay and then you're gonna pour another layer on top of it absolutely you you just have to let it cure before the next layer goes on or almost cure before the next layer goes on so that they don't mix okay. but yep you can you can do multiple layers absolutely okay how do you know when it's already all incorporated so you want to so it's still cloudy. You can still see kind of like strings in there. Okay, it so almost when looks it's like all stringy. When I don't see strings, yeah, it's, it's so totally incorporated. Totally clear. Okay, cool. Oof, get a hand workout. You here. do. It's so funny. Uh -huh. You do get a workout of the hands for sure. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna end up diluting my. Um, Ooh, my black because pretty. I'm just pouring I kind of overdid it on the glitter here so I don't know how that's <laughs> gonna work out you overdid it on it the glitter. sort of just dumped in there a little <laughs> bit but uh we'll see what happens there's always experiments here that Ooh. looks really freaking cool though <laughs> yeah it does well, let's see I don't know let's see what happens It would be awesome if they stayed as circles, but I don't think that's going to happen. Never does. I love me some polka dots, but <laughs> it just never stays in polka dots. They morph and change. Oh, yeah, when you take the blow dryer to it? Yeah, that and just it moving completely. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Take a switch hands. <laughs> All right. I love it. All right. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. It is awesome, but if it would stay that way, but it won't. <laughs> when you want it to stay that way, it won't. Is this why you end up doing more? That's the, that's the issue stuff? you this have is, with this. This is what happens. It, like you I want it to stay. It doesn't come out that just way. like that. So good, <laughs> so good for people like that. Uh, all right, let's see. Come on. She's staying far away from it. I can tell. Jazz is fast. Pop bubble pop. Hurry. <laughs> Yeah, you're good. That's okay. That's good. Okay. Pop the bubbles. It's all good. All right. So what do I want? Mm -hmm. What do I want the? I kind of want to use. Is this what you had? That's the white. Yep. I 
I don't have stars in it. I just it's just the white. I kind of want to use this as my base and then okay. do little doodads. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so four ounces of this. Was that I would it? say or yeah, do four ounces. About four ounces of that, or at least three. All right, where are the ounces? Do out? three. Okay, I think you'll be good with this. I almost feel like these are like paw, like like the bottom of paw prints. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Don't right, do don't it. fall in love with it yet. Don't do it. <laughs> let twenty four hours go by. All right, I'm gonna leave it go <laughs> and just let it be. And I'll have to move it over to a a level area. So you're gonna leave it alone like that? Okay. I'm watching. Oh, it. this is fun to watch come together. Like I'm watching it and moving it through. It's just that it's when you do it and you come back down twenty four hours later and you go, oh, it's different. It is. Like, I just want it in a level spot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'll watch it and see if it moves. I think it's good. How does this look, Jen? Yeah, you're good. Good? Yeah. Okay. Now, should I get my little guys ready? Can I use these yeah. cups? Okay, yeah, you perfect. can use Perfect, perfect. So uh, I like to put the, I like to put the, stuff in first the okay. powders in first and how much is it? just a very little bit right so i usually take a um i usually take a popsicle stick oh like these two and yep that's fine and then i usually kind of like scoop a little bit out since you're doing a small uh cup i would even do like a you know figure like a quarter teaspoon or half a teaspoon like either. that yep start with that and then you can always add more to it right so good and then, so I have the mermaid. Shout out to my mermaid. Shout out to your mermaid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, now, Joe Hill says, okay, sounds good, but I'm in Canada. Don't know what you have, the kinds of charity for kids do you have? Um, so, I work closely with two organizations that I also help volunteer for and do fundraisers for personally. Michael's Miracles is a uh, charity for, or an organization, I should say, it's not really a charity, but it is an organization uh, dedicated to the education of parents of children with type 1 diabetes. Um, their foundation or their organization helps send um, children to Camp Najida. It's kind of like a, a day camp um, for type 1 diabetic children. So I work with them. Um, and then I also help with, we've done some many fundraisers for Jack's Kids. Um, which is part of our Elks. I know it, it kind of is probably nationwide, not really quite sure, uh -huh. um, but they, um, they are kind of a foundation or an organization that um, kind of helps do, I don't want to say like Make-A-Wish things, not really like that, but uh, they help with anything that families may need that have children with terminal illnesses. So I've also helped do fundraisers for them. And that is usually who I choose my, those are my two charities and my other organization that I volunteer with is my uh, fire department, Manville Fire Company number three. I've been a member of the auxiliary for 21 years, uh -huh. half of my life. This is so crazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, that's always the other, my other organization that I kind of always go to. I yeah. forgot to do these before I poured that. Okay. That's all right. So, Laura Sullivan says, bye. Bye, sweetie. See you on Wednesday. My phone is dying. Okay. Me on Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> See you Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> it's like mesmerizing. It really, it, it definitely gets to be like, yeah, I could do this for hours. And it's I just not just it. the fumes either. <laughs> <laughs> It's so yeah. funny. I know I could like play with all this stuff forever. I don't want to like waste the uh, the little bit of resin I have in that thing. Let's see if I can throw it in like a little mold here. Oh. Never want to waste anything. For real. Look <laughs> at that. I do have to mix another batch of resin for. Do you want some of this? Would that help you? Um, not yet. Oh, mermaid time. Oh, I love it. See if it's if it's really light on your stick and you can see your stick through it, you can um, you can always add more of the powder. Okay. If you want to add more powder. 
I love it. Resin everything. It is. That's what happens. <laughs> it's just what you have to do now at this point. <laughs> Kathy says I had to plug my phone in. I am cooking dinner. You're always cooking dinner, Mama. Mm -hmm. Such a good mom. It was Aiden's birthday the other day. Aww. He's, uh, how old was he, Kathy? Three? He's three. Three or four, maybe. So guy. cute. He's so, so cute. Where's my Elena? Her daughter loves uh, chatting with us. Loves mm. Rascal. Very big day for Rascal. <laughs> yes. That is true. Alright. Let's see. Alright. We're just playing. Anthony Hemi says, I can't stop watching. <laughs> Girl, it's it's addictive. It really is. Like, it's really, oh, man. Yeah, I may use that clear resin when you're done. Yeah, do it. You know what I want you to, ooh, yeah, see? Now she's going to get all super fancy and little, and you're like, oh, yeah. I, I don't it. even know where I'm going. I just like, all right, we're just going to get sporadic, <laughs> spontaneous. Yeah, we'll There is no wrong way there to do isn't. this. There isn't. That's the best part. Like, there's no right or wrong to this. That's awesome. I mean, as far as designs go. <laughs> right, right. Bloop. Bloop. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Bloop. Let nature do its thing. Mm hmm But faster. <laughs> <Bloop>. <laughs> Yep. We have to have a mimosa marketing resin day. Ooh, yes. It's staying. It's staying. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The dots? Yeah. They're staying. Awesome. Yeah. This is so not, this is really definitely not the way you're supposed to do this. <laughs> I love it. Even better. It works though. It's working. We're getting our glitters in there. I think the key is to like if you're gonna do a design or a pattern, like less could be more. That is totally true. Although I had I had a couple two girls that came in and they were both just artists in their own right but mm -hmm. oh my gosh they did like some amazing piece um with theirs it was just so cool and she had like little gemstones that she put in oh it that's and, cool like, i like it's that so pretty so so pretty so yeah we could we'll have to do like a we could do a gemstone thing i like that yeah jennifer mitchell is watching and drawing yeah. <laughs> there you go yeah. There and Kathy Reinhardt says the kids are both sick again. Oh no! Says, the colds hit them hard, but so far I am not sick. Dad and Kylie are sick too. They are drinking Dayquil out of the bottle. Mm. <laughs> and yes, Elena loves you guys. Aww. She is always wanting to go visit you guys. I told her someday we will. Aww. And it's a little bit of drive from Oregon. It but is. <laughs> we didn't have to fly. <laughs> Aww, that's real love. Love right you. There. I know. She's just so cute. I can't wait until we're like I have the ability to like go and and do you know like yeah, do travel. I want to travel to Oregon? Yes, I do. Let's go to Oregon. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna go see people. You know, that would be so cool. I mean, while it's not like what I love, but it kind of like created its own like. I think that's amazing. What are you talking like about? Travel. Yeah, it's, it's like when you want control of something, but that's something you just can't control. You can, I mean, you can if you put it on a level surface. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but... Uh, Touche. <laughs> she got us there, Mark. She got us. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. 
This is fun. Do you love her? I know. I could do this all day. Me too. <laughs> <coughs> now what happens if you just sprinkle, sprinkle this on there or something so the other girl did do that and it did come out kind of cool I mean you may not have like the uh, so where's that other board I so on the board behind you there's like a green and, and brown one it didn't get like totally incorporated oh, so you I see, see some of those powder in there but it, it's but not incorporated, so it's like... That's kind of like what it would be, as if you were like to sprinkle some of that powder in there. Okay. I love it. Well, I'm thinking that it might change... Like I'm it trying may to change be, a little. I'm, I'm trying to be like light-handed with it, because I, I feel like... But you're saying no. You're saying like... No, you can be light-handed with it. But maybe I want to get in there. <laughs> maybe that's what needs to happen. I know, but I, I'm telling you, I love like the little swirls and stuff in there. Yeah, see? <laughs> you just can't help but touch it. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's it totally. Now I'm having a totally different experience where you're just interacting <laughs> with it. I'm telling you, it's so funny. Wow. This is like it's just like a totally different medium to work with. Like, yeah. And that's a good, yeah. It's, it's definitely a different medium. Um, fluid. Mm -hmm. And it starts to set about 20 to 30 minutes after you pour. Okay, I can right. feel it, like, I can feel so it getting, like, it's starting to get a little bit sticky. Yeah. Yep. But you can, um, if you're working with it, you can hit it with the heat gun, and it'll kind of... Give it some more life. Melt it a little bit, yep. Okay, cool. Give you a little bit of working time if you need to. Just not too much with the heat gun. Yeah. You just start smoking up. Don't burn oh, it. really? <laughs> Poor uh <-huh>. Cindy. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's so cool. It's fun. This is great. <laughs> I feel like it's a whole new experience. Like Yes, I love it. Well, this is what we aim to do. To, yeah. you know, liven up our audience and to give them different new innovative things other than just painting something every week which is still nobody's like us exactly can you give me that white board that's on the mm -hmm. thing and i'll use the rest of this we had two okay. sweetie pies come and cook while we painted yeah that was cute what else have we done that was different um, this one yeah that one that's cindy's i, I just want to give her a I was like, what are you doing? I'm reaching down to oh, give it to you without getting into the camera. Oh my gosh, it's okay. So they can't see me. Oh, please. But, are um, you the mystery man? Yes. Yes? He's like, uh... They'd be like, who's that man back there that's talking? Uh... Let him come to the camera. What's the neighbor? Wilson? Mr. Oh, Wilson. yeah, on Boy Meets right. World. <laughs> He's always throwing in his two cents, but he never... No, no, I'm thinking of, uh... Oh my gosh, Home Improvement. You remember that show? Yeah, yeah. Or the the neighbor you can never see him. You know, oh, like yeah, he was head. like a sage. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He was. He always like had some like really powerful words of wisdom. Okay, this is reminding me of like a Zen sand. Yeah. Um, oh no, I'm getting it on the wood. Okay, wipe off. There you go. No biggie, right? This is just too cool. Tori Georgiana says, these are turning out Hi, great. Tori. Yay! One for me, and one will be perfect for the birthday gift I had in mind. Oh, good. That's awesome. It is. This is, like, such a great gift to give. Yes. Like, something that you've created, and it's something usable. That's what I love. Now, this was Cindy's from the last um, workshop that we did. So, you wow. see, like, it's not, it wasn't, like, a planned out pattern or anything. Right. It just kind of turned into something, like, just, but it's so pretty. Mm-hmm. It looks like, like volcanic, like. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's just, you know, uh, I don't know, non-conforming. She never came and picked it up? No, uh, she, she's been here several times, but I wanted to pour a clear coat on top for her. Okay. Um, because her, it was really kind of a little lumpy. And I wanted her to be able to use it and without stuff falling over. this is how we incorporated our show today. Okay, we got the charcuterie boards, mm -hmm. and then we had Victoria come down and make a display mm -hmm. on the charcuterie board. Yes. 
Oh, I love it. It reminds me of a um, of a Van Gogh. -y. Oh. I just it's so weird. I, it it totally reminds me of cooking because when I'm cooking, like it just wants to do its own thing and you just let it be what it is. Like yep. Um, <laughs> let it be. It's um in in like Buddhism and the Tao and stuff they call this like the middle path, like the flow. Like okay. when you're like not when you don't have a specific thing in mind and you're kind of just going with whatever you know what I mean? Like yeah. you're just Yeah, whatever energy takes you. Exactly. It's energy. It's literally just Just waves and waves. It just is coming at you. You just kind of run you, you just kinda roll with it. Yeah. Let it tell you what to do. <laughs> it is, man. I love this. Thank you so much. This You're is welcome. so great. Thank you for coming. Oh, this man. Is so awesome. Yeah, I, it makes it for a special night. It does. It really does. This is so good. I know, when I saw your boards um, at the event, I was like, oh, okay, girl. Like, <laughs> buy me up. <coughs> <laughs> All right, I feel like I just need one more little go <laughs> with the gold. Famous last words, right? Okay. Exactly. You guys no, are Joe, all going to shut her says, down. My box didn't work, so I turned it into a geo. Okay. And now started to like it. All right, see? Like I'm telling you. Yeah. It's, That's how it works. It is. It's just kind of a little, I don't know, it just does its own thing sometimes, so you can't really always control it. It just sort of does its thing. And tomorrow, uh, you know, you may come back and look and things, they kind of dissipate a little bit and spread out a little bit more than you thought and mm -hmm. it just works out that way. Love like, it. All right. I got to call it quits because <laughs> now we're just trying to fill in gaps and that's not very flow. <laughs> I love it. Looks Yay. great. Yay. Looks good. Good, good job. Yay. My vibosa oh, masterpiece. Wow. Yes. <laughs> and it looks like it's pretty level right in that corner because I don't see any movement at all. We should probably hit it with the heat just okay. to pop any bubbles. All right. So I'm going to move these guys out of the way. And you can pull the heat gun over. Or the <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great. Move it. And then we just kind of want to stay about four or five inches away from the top. And then. Is this just the first setting? Yep, just the first. There you go. I know. It's a super duper old hair Whoa! I love it. Right, see now Jennifer's saying, yeah. See, I feel relaxed drawing. It's been busy. Yeah. with drawing stuff for the church and the summer blast. Aww. For the summer blast. She says the crazy medical stuff, etc. Yeah. But it's nice to sit down and just watch and listen. Yes. And that's okay too. Totally. We're happy to have you with us. And this chat is with us something and I would watch. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> It feels awesome. cathartic. It looks so good. I know. It's just so, now it's, um, so now it's spreading out. A little bit. Yeah, it's, it, little bit. it's taking some different shapey too, a little bit. But I'm glad that you told me that it wouldn't change that much. Because if I would have left it like the drizzle that I had, I wouldn't have been, <laughs> you know, this is more like what I thought it would do on its own. Yes. With the oh, that's beautiful. Now it looks like a Paisley's. Yeah. Oh, so cool. I Very love it. Cool. So how do you know when it's done with the... I good. I just kind of like watch the top, watch the surface to see if there's any little bubbles coming out. And it looks pretty good. It's so crazy. Yeah. It almost it's looks good. like stained glass. It does. Yours, yeah, yours really does really now. I want to do the butterfly. Did you do that okay yeah. yet? Not yet. We'll put that event together shortly. Butterfly resin. Butterfly resin for All right. You'll have a, 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 a choice between butterflies, stars, or I'm going to try and do a unicorn if I can get a board big enough for a unicorn. All right. So, oh my gosh, it looks so good. All right. Do you think you're it's good? good? I think you're good. Okay. I love it. 
Yeah, so oh, cool. Fun. Yes. Awesome. Cool. Okay, yeah, we're going to so leave it right there. Just, okay, it's awesome. This has, been a, this has been a really good night. Oh, yes. Nice. Love it. We had Dude. two different things happen. That was yeah, different really. than the normal. Than our normal. <laughs> than our normal things, yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, now just don't touch anything with the resin on it. Okay. I'm going to let everything go. Yeah, be guess. careful taking off your PPE. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome, yay. yay. It looks so good. I love yeah. it. That looks so cool. Yeah, it just, it just keeps moving it, a little bit, and looks, that's okay. It looks to me more geode now than it, it did. It does, yes. It does, course. and those little stars are floating up to the top. Yeah, that's awesome. So these are cool. Awesome, guys. Well, everyone have a wonderful evening. Yay. Thank you for coming. Yay, Yay thank you for having me. Yes. This is so fun. I love it. This is so good. We're going to wash our hands, and we're going to go eat charcuterie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye, All right, everybody. Guys, we'll see ya. <laughs> thank you. This is so cool. Awesome. Love it. Bye. Good job. All right, girl. Yeah. You go get in that. Clean mm -hmm. off. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, fun, fun. Where can That's I, good. do you want me to toss these? No, nope. you can leave everything. I'll, I'll usually come down the next day everything? With, Are you sure? with gloves on the oh, okay. and everything. No. After it's all so dry. Cool. It looks so cool. Fun. Yeah. Awesome. I love it. Oh, oh, hi, Bobby. Bobby. Wait, Rascal, he's like, are we going to eat now? <laughs> Dog after my own heart. Man, this is so cool. Oh, I should take pictures too. <laughs> <laughs>